Boom, we are back with another video. We will be going over all these stocks that have been crashing. Is it time to load the boat up on these? Is the crash going to get wider, bigger? Let's go over it. We're going to go over all the favorite names as well. NVIDIA, Tesla, everything in here. So smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you share the videos out. And let's get this video over 100 likes within five hours. And I'll post a lot of videos this week for y'all. Okay, so. S&P 500 is the first thing we're going to go over. S&P 500 did break that support at 547.40. Now, this is why these support levels are important that I give you all, because if support is breaking, we are expecting more downside. I even told the Discord team, make sure you join the Discord first in the description. But I told them we are expecting a lot of downside and we're about to be loading up on a lot of swing puts as well. We're going to go over that. But a lot of stocks, I'm still expecting downside and a lot of stocks are bearish, like nvidia is bearish tesla is a bearish so we're expecting more downside than up right now okay so that's giving you your direction that's what you want to focus on so the sp500 broke that support level right there at 547.40 on friday which is something you should be watching every day spy sp100 etf trust you must watch this stock every day it will help you out a lot so right when it broke that support area and it crashed down that should let you know that the sp500 wants to go down and the whole market pretty much wants to go down so you want to focus on that downside of direction now new levels that i'm gonna put on the sp500 let's take all this off boom so new support level that i want to be watching out for for actually tomorrow is right around 539.25 ish so in that area 539.25 539.25 ish watch that for support tomorrow see if we get some bounce uh some bounce rate off that and then that might be our area we could load up on more put options to go down right so right now i'm trying to focus on where can i load up on put options because i feel like stocks are going to continue going down and then stocks that are down a lot like my favorite ones make sure you watch the video before this one like disney nike i'm looking to load the butt up on those and buy those pretty heavy okay so support 539 25 and then resistance isn't too clear but I, if i had to put one i would probably put one right around 546 so we can watch those two levels for now 546 uh yeah so you can watch those two levels now um for some resistance i'm also building a new company so whenever you go on that new company you'll be able to look up your favorite names it'll have my levels on there and you'll see it pretty quickly i think it will help a lot uh for just to better educate you and make your best decisions just to help you out most i can right so that's the two levels i'm watching out for the sp right there okay if support continues to break you know what we're looking out for we're looking for more downside and then um, I'm pretty much just looking to load up on put options. The video still going down. Okay, I'm looking to load up on some put options on the video literally tomorrow. Um, I want to see how we move in the morning. Do we continue moving down from the video? Do we start to push up right here? And remember, remember what I told y'all in the video um, video I made. I want to start buying the video below 100. We're almost there, right? So I'm letting you guys know I'm looking for the video to drop more. We had the video resistance around 108.35. Remember that. Where was the resistance at on Friday? Look at this. Perfect resistance hit, and we had push down. This is why I say make sure you are smashing the like button. Make sure we get that video over 100 likes within five hours so I can keep pumping this content. Maybe three videos, four videos a day, okay, uh, for this week. But look at that beautiful resistance hit off the level I gave and push down, right? So that's showing us that we want more downside in the video, and the video wants to go down. And also, on this drop right here, it tried to hold support here. It bounced up, and it crashed right back below it. So the video, I believe, is going below $100. Um, that's just what I think is doing, and especially after it broke that 104, right? That's, that was a decent level. So I'm going to leave that 104 support area there for now to see if it bounces back up. But once we start getting below 100, which I feel like we will, I'm going to start getting some swing puts in this area. I might start buying some more long-term shares in the video in around the 90s area. And then um, I think NVIDIA might even go to the 80 areas, okay? So the only thing I need to update right now is the resistance level, which is right around 106. So that's your new resistance level that I'll be looking out for, 106 on NVIDIA, 104 still support. And then, like I said, looking for put options in that area and looking to load it up for more long-term shares also. AMD support 131.25. I'm looking to get put option swings on a lot of stocks right now, but that's the support error for AMD. We want to move that resistance level down to about 139. So that's your new resistance level. 
and that's about it for AMD. I don't own any long-term shares yet, so I am looking to get long-term shares, but I wanted to come back below that 120 area. It's not out of the woods yet, and AMD is bearish right now, so I'm assuming more downside than up right now, okay? SMCI, like I told y'all, I'm still assuming more downside. We have support at 382. You can see what support hit on Friday. 382 382 and a little bit after market as well so it did drop but that support kind of holding it in that range ever since it got close to it but um i'm not looking to get smci in this area i think it's going to drop more than it is already avgo big drop had earnings kind of just continued to drop all through that day we had support at 143 so i do believe avgo is going below 130 in these 120 ranges i don't own any avgo but i will be looking at it once it gets down to those levels okay so and once it builds support so let's clear our charts off okay so no real clear uh i think maybe there's support you could put around 136.40 so we'll leave that there, but there's not much I want to do like buy long-term shares of AVGO in this area that it's in. So 136.40, we'll watch that for resistance area, okay? Make sure you guys join the team, first in the description to get everything I buy and sell, private trading, live streams, everything, first in the description, make sure you join, okay? Um, that's AVGO. AMC actually has some pop-up off that, okay? market was crashing amc actually came up watch five dollars let that break and then maybe there might be on something on amc but i would say wait for now because it's still in a range that has just been in for months and months and months so there's really nothing you could do on that right now also gamestop pushed off that support level i gave y'all which was a beautiful support area like i told y'all the secondary movement is going to be a big movement after it holds support and starts pushing up that's the one I would like to play, and it's actually pushing up pretty decently, but they have earnings on Tuesday, so that could switch all that up. Just be careful, but GameStop looking like it wants to go past like $25 for now, so kind of watch that because it held support good. It's testing that resistance. If it starts breaking that resistance tomorrow at that 2375 area, you might see some more push on that um, higher side on that one um intel's crashing down more intel's pretty easy i'm just letting it drop and i'll probably buy some more shares around like 17 dollar ish right it broke that support level so i'll let it drop and maybe around 17 dollars i'll accumulate a little bit more shares y'all yeah, know how i'm playing um intel baba is dropping i wanted to play a shares i don't think it's ready yet so i'm gonna just let it kind of do its thing uh i was watching this support area like around here around 80 40 so i'll see how that acts if that breaks then that just means I'll wait a little bit longer to buy shares than not, okay? Apple stock, uh, 221 support. Seemed like it's, I'll leave it there for now, but Apple stock, I'm looking for more swing puts. I think Apple stock is going around 215 to 210s in those areas. I think you're going to start seeing some bigger drops on Apple, okay? Like a lot of stocks, I'm pretty much just looking for downside on a lot of names. But yeah, Apple 221 support, looking for that to drop more um meta big drop they have support at 496.50 watch that i'm also looking for put option swings on meta but what i would like on meta since this was a pretty decent drop i would like meta to have some type of retracement on the higher side it would make it a little bit more easier the put options will be a little more cheaper so i want some type of upside and once i get that upside then i'll load the boat up to continue that downward movement that's why i say just make sure you're on the team so you can know when that optimal area might be it won't be 100 percent again another financial advice i'll just cage personally don't trade anything you see in this video you will lose money i'm just some guy on youtube but i can let you guys know what i'm kind of looking at and where my levels are and where my headspace is right there um google remember i told y'all we played one of the big names on google um on swing puts it was actually google we got swing puts on google um right here right in there somewhere and then it came down it broke our level remember i told y'all google's going below 153 it did that we took our profits and now i'm just waiting for google to retrace back up because i think google's going down here in the 140s so if google has that nice retracement i'll get more puts like we did last week and i'll write it back down to the lower side so google's pretty simple um palantir palantir had news i think of they're going to be going into the s p 500 edition okay palantir and then i think dell to join the sp 500 as well so let's see did dell get any move off that on friday no it did not and let's see if it got any move so after hours it did get a little move of dell from around 102 back to around 107 and then if you look at palantir palantir got a little move as well from 30 up to about 32 i still have those palantir shares by the way so 
If Palantir can push up to around the 34.35 rare, I'll take profit. Remember, I told y'all we got shares around the 30 range. I actually still have those. So let's see what, how Palantir does. If it starts breaking that 32.44, which it seems like it might be testing that after hours, we'll see how we open up and we see if that push can continue. But Palantir might do good. We already got the shares for it. So we're pretty much chilling on that. And I'll just let it ride, um, if I'm being honest. Yeah, i probably just let it ride for there. Um, stocks I'm looking about heavy. Make sure you join the team to see that. I don't want this video to be long. I know it's Sunday. So I'm trying to keep it right around like 11 minutes or so. But let me go over gold, oil. So gold, remember, breaking that support level seems like it wants to pull down more. Okay, so kind of watch that. It hasn't broken enough just yet. Only by like 8 cents or so. So I want to see if Monday, if, if it continues that downward push, that upside might be done with on gold oxy crashed down as expected i knew it was it's, it's bearish right now so just assuming more downside i think we'll get below 50 no real levels to put on it it's really heavy to the downside so i would say kind of wait on it if you want put options but you would need some type of retracement higher and then try to get put options but yeah oil uh down 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 it goes bitcoin just the nasty ranges um it did break support so your new support on Bitcoin could be around 53,300, 53,300. Watch that. But like I said, I am bearish on Bitcoin until we break 72,100. Once we break this, the, all the crypto market is going to be on fire. That's why I'm going to go crazy on cryptos. I think they're going to be pushing really, really high. Um, but for now, they're just kind of stalled out. The main crypto stock I would like to get is Coinbase. But like I said, it's going to keep dropping. And below the 140s, I would like to start getting a little bit of it nibbling on it and we're almost there um other than that i would keep the video here let me know the stocks y'all want me to add for this week i'll probably post a lot of videos this week as long as y'all get that video over 100 likes within five hours which should be pretty easy to do join the team first in the description and always remember no recommendation to buy so anything just for education purposes only so do not trade anything you see here in this video i will catch you guys in the next one bye